Hey everybody, it's Robert from sdparkflyers.com. I got a great tip for everybody. On the bottom side of the mount here where the screw is, dead center, what you're going to want to do is you want to dremel back straight with the center line about one inch or so. Let me go ahead and do that and I'll show you what it looks like. So you're going to basically take the dremel here and go down the center line straight back about an inch. Only cut about halfway through the tube. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so you can see now what I've done is I've cut a slot from about here to here. In the bottom section, there we go, it's still a little bit better there. So I've cut a slot here, about an inch, from here to here in the bottom section. What this allows the mount to do, you can actually see it really good here, it allows the mount to flex a little better like this. So your motor, when it slides in and out, uh, if it ever gets jammed or if you hit, have a prop strike and you hit it like this, just unloosen the tight uh, the screw here. What I'm going to do is I'll put it in here to show you. Just unloosen the little tap screw and then pull the motor out. That's it. Hope you enjoy this tip. Okay, I thought I would show everybody that once the modification is done, how easy it is to put a motor in and take a motor out. So what you do is you can just slide the motor in the mount. Just to show you how easy this will work, slide the motor in, tighten the screw, the motor's in place, real snug, it doesn't come out of here. Now to get it to come out, watch how easy this works. Just loosen the screw, and did you ever see a motor come out this easy? Great tip, great tip.